The tyrants met in a Brazilian mental hospital where they had been committed by their parents. For reasons we won't go into at this time. The doctors saw encouraging signs of progress when the pair took an unauthorized leave of absence. They surfaced six months later in Hollywood. How are things going on with you in Hollywood? I got in a movie. What movie is that? Tell Gone me. with the Wind. Gone with the Wind? Yes. The sequel? No, the original. Hmm. I paid a man some money on Hollywood Boulevard and he spliced me into every one of the prints. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Digitally set into that set. That's right. But Michael, that's not fair to movie makers since 1920. Everybody could do that and say and claim to the world, look, I was cast in Gone in the Wind. I was also in Lawrence of Arabia. Let's uh, stop this conversation. Before that, I was in Ben-Hur. Hmm. Why do you keep fixating on that particular subject? Because that particular subject means so much to me and the rest of the world. I wish you were here in Argentina, alas. I know that is not possible. I'm coming next week. I see. For your funeral. <sighs> it is just my monitor, or do you have the bloom of love in your cheek? You are the most important person here. That's what I figured. There has been a sensitive issue that has been troubling you for many months. Tell me what this is. It's about my pants. I thought they don't fit over my shoulders. Tyrone Michael, the pants do not have to fit over your shoulders. Oh, wait a second. I'm from the Southern Hemisphere, and when I moved mm. to the North, everything... Mm. Uh, your parents have given me permission to ask you some very sensitive questions. Are you okay with that? Can I see the questions first? Are they going to be in English? <laughs> yes, they will be certainly in English. Will they have words that begin with A? I don't think so. Okay, then you can ask away. Question number one. Do you have multiple personalities? Who wants to know? I want to know. Why? Because I am your healer. Uh, you are my healer? Yes. Oh. No, I don't have multiple personalities. I see. Question number two. How is your sex life? None of your business. Question number three. Did you know your mother well? I've been to therapy a lot. Are you sure you're not a duck? No, I'm not a duck. Uh, what was that quacking I heard when you walked in the room? No, that was my neighbor. If I could see your feet, if you had webbed feet, then I'd be more reassured that you weren't of the duckish persuasion. It is not pleasant to ask questions like this, but ask it I must. Do you have a wife? Or a girlfriend? Yes. A girlfriend that comes in from time to time. Oh? And she also dusts. So you are actually using her? No. She likes to do windows. She says the Windex gives her vigor. Do you have some friends? Yes, I have some friends. What kind of friends do you have? They live next door. The Schlumpmeisters are my friends. <laughs> Shelly Schlumpmeister and Shelly Schlumpmeister, Anne and wife, they're both named Shelly, and they're both Schlumpmeisters. I am very glad to hear you are making friends. Oh, I hate them, they're miserable people, especially that man. I see. He has smelly feet. His nose is always running. I told him he was built upside down, and his wife has two redeeming qualities, this one and that one. I see. Millions of people are watching you cannot do this. Millions of people are yes. watching my therapy session? Why? It's beneficial to everyone who is having the same problem as you have. They should have seen my Ophelia. My next report will indicate that you have entered a new dimension of your psychodynamic issues. 
In fact, my colleague in Munich has verified that the last reported case of such grandiose entitlement occurred 300 years ago and pertained to the French King Louis XIV. I had some intimation of it when I wanted to eat escargot three times a day. I see. I don't believe anything you say. I believe that you have wings and web feet. And when you talk, you don't speak words, but maybe do something. I see. Why do you think that Abby Abby named one of her multiple personalities Bugzell? It's a long story, but I'll try to make it brief. Bugs are the things that ducks eat. Mm -hmm. L is a French word that means she. Right. If there was a female duck and it saw some bugs, it would eat it. Bring it back to her chicks. Regurgitate and they would grow stronger and maybe one of them would become a doctor like you. Hmm. I always thought that Bugzell is some thought out name from I don't know where. It was a family name from Argentina, some Jewish people from Eastern Europe who made borscht, and they started to lose their fortune because in Argentina people didn't want to eat borscht, so they started to raise bugs so they could feed the ducks. Here we go again. What would happen if Bugzell Cohen and Sofia Zovtikova should meet? I had a camera in the shower room, mm -hmm. and they didn't either one of them know that the other was going to take the shower. <laughs> they were very, very good friends, let me tell you. I never heard this. It's on YouTube. Both of them are my patients. Really? When they have picnics, they have something called cabeza coleslaw. I said, what is that? They said, oh, we take a bunch of cabbage heads and... <coughs> what would you call it when somebody sees a cabbage and the first thing they do is urinate on it? That's awful. Now, let's talk about a different subject. I heard that you have fluorophobia. <laughs> Pathological fear of flowers and plants. How does your fluorophobia manifest itself? Achoo! Whenever I see a, 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 a flower, a flower, a, a plant, I, 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 I can't even speak. No, Michael, that's flower and plant. No, that too, I hate them. I won't look at them. They won't look at me and we don't like each other. There are different types of plants, so-called flesh-eating plants, <laughs> and there are those miniature plants. <laughs> So you are afraid of every one of them? Yes. But how you can be afraid of a plant which is about half inch high from the ground? Because plants can go everywhere. They've gone everywhere and they will go everywhere. I they see. could be growing in your ear right now, in your brain, in your nostrils, under your soles of your feet. What do you think the, the flowers will do to you? They would harm me by being more beautiful than I was. That is really... A verifiable fact. Well, it's hard to live with it, but I'll try. And I see you next time. We have to end this session. Is that all you have to say? I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Do you have a salutation that you usually say by the end of a session? Bye. Bye what? <laughs>